Hey everyone, Stuart with Franklin Hill Ventures. Welcome to my weekly update video. I sold a lot of really cool things this week. Uh, I'll talk about a few of them here in just a second. Uh, just a couple of notes before we get started. I'm really excited. I'm almost to 750 listings on eBay. Uh, my goal is to get to a thousand, you know, and it's a stair step thing. It's a good problem to have, but as I sell more, then I have to list more to just to keep keep pace and tread water. So I've actually increased my listings by about a hundred over the past couple of months. So been working really hard to do that. So really excited to finally be pushing 750 and then just 250 more to reach my goal. So don't know if I'll be able to do that by the end of the year, especially with it being quarter four and I'm selling more and busy packaging, but I'm going to do my best to get as close as I can to that number. I don't think there's really anything else going on. Uh, I did talk a couple of weeks ago about the uh, items that I got from the friend of mine who is a reseller. Those are all still halves in my van, halves in my daughter's bedroom. I plan to get to those either later this week or next week. And I'm going to uh, film unboxing those because I have no idea what's in it. So there might be some good stuff. So you'll uh, you'll see right along with me. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into some of the things that sold this week, both in my online stores and in my booths. All right, we're gonna start with the online sales. And the first one are these bicycle playing cards. And they have a Santa Claus back. If we go over to this picture here, as you can see, uh, they have Santa Claus riding a bicycle. So very cool. Both the decks of cards were still sealed inside the tin. Uh, and this sold for $35. Picked these up at a yard sale. So uh, minimal cost in these. Very quick sale. These, these sold. I had a bunch of offers come in as soon as I listed it. Um, waited and they sold for full price within a couple of hours of listing notes. And these kind of sales are nice in that it was very easy to ship as well. Uh, the next is this Infinite Prog Chocolate figurine. I picked this up at a local thrift shop. And very cool piece. I've talked before how easy it is to sell religious items. And I've had several of these Infant of Prague figurines of various materials, various sizes. This one was almost 10 inches tall, had a cool uh, dress with it, a lot of lace, um, metal crown. Anyway, this sold for $30, uh, plus the buyer paid shipping. Uh, so it was you know, fairly easy to pack and uh, another quick sale. I believe that was also a same day sale uh, from the time I listed it till the time it sold. And one of my best sales dollar wise of the week online were these two spill vases from Germany and they're from the 1800s. I picked these up at a yard sale, paid a couple of dollars a piece for them. And I was really excited when these sold because they're headed back home to Germany. Uh, so these were sold via the eBay Standard International Shipping Program. And if you're not using that, I would encourage you to look into it. It makes it very easy to ship. It's similar to GSP uh, if you've used it before, but there are some subtle details that are different that make it less expensive for the buyer. And since I switched from GSP over to eBay Standard International, my international sales have increased, at least doubled and maybe even tripled. Uh, so anyway, this was a, Nice $99 sale, buyer paid shipping to Germany, and uh, it should be there by now if it's not. Uh, so they are almost, almost back home. And then finally, uh, this pair of Clay City nesting bowls from Clay City, Indiana. Uh, this was the larger 10 inch and uh, eight and a half inch bowls. I also have three of the smaller bowls listed and I decided to break them up just from a shipping standpoint. Uh, these sold on Macari. Uh, this was a consignment item, uh, so I'm splitting the proceeds after uh, fees with somebody else, uh, but I sell quite a bit on consignment for this person, and it's usually higher dollar stuff like this, so it's been well worth it. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like to do consignment, uh, but if I can get the right percentage and I know it's going to be a high enough dollar item, uh, then I don't mind doing that. So those were the four online sales I wanted to highlight. Now let's jump over here real quick to some booth sales. So these three mallard ducks that are flying away to their new home, they've almost flown out of the picture here. 
Uh, this was the only picture I could find, but these were three Atlantic mold, uh, hand-painted mallard ducks in flight. I picked those up. It was kind of an estate sale. It was the neighborhood where my parents live. Uh, when people are looking to get rid of stuff, they know that my parents' son resells stuff, so they will call me a lot of times, and I actually got to go through this house before an estate sale and pick out some things, uh, and I got those uh, there. So uh, those sold for, I believe it was $50, um, and it took a little while to sell them, but they are very cool pieces and from the 60s, and so those sold this week. And then next, and I think I've talked about the Pink Panther before. He actually sold either last week or the week before as well. And then the next item is this Mayfair Depression Glass Cookie Jar. Uh, that sold for $40. And that was part of a huge lot of glassware that I bought uh, from somebody in Clinton where I had my antique booth. And it was a lot of Depression Glass, a lot of Fenton, things like that. And these are some of the last pieces that I have left. Uh, I think I mentioned that one sold for $40. And then next uh, is this toboggan. It's a torpedo. This thing's literally eight feet tall. And uh, I sold this in my beard and booth and this sold for $200. I think I had $225 on it. Took a, uh, took a best offer of actually $199, not $200. Um, but that was a really cool item, and that's one that I bought from a dealer where I have my booth in Clinton and then sold it my booth in Bearden. Uh, it's kind of two different markets. I mean, I sell a ton at my booth in Clinton, but things like this that uh, are so large and, you know, you've got to have the right kind of house. We have a lot of interior decorators who come into Bearden, and when I saw that, I knew that it would be a perfect item to sell at Bearden. Um, I also sold the biblical wall hanging that's shown here next to it. I sold that this week, though, so I'll go ahead and mention it now and not put it in next week's video, but that sold for $50, and it's all these hand-carved wood, wood panels that are on a piece of, uh, I believe it's burlap, um, and that was a thrift shop find, actually, and sold it for $50 this week. So I believe that is everything I'm going to talk about, and I appreciate you watching and hope you enjoyed it. Once again, thanks for watching. If you like the video, uh, please consider hitting the thumbs up and subscribing to our channel. Uh, that really helps us out. Uh, you can go to www.franklinhillventures.com. That has links to all our social media sites as well as the platforms that we sell on. Uh, check us out there and we will see you next time.